So what's your favorite part about Spider-Man? Oh, that part with Mysterio. Whoa. Whoa, spoilers, I haven't seen it yet. You haven't seen Spider-Man yet? No. That's a requirement to work here. Today, we're gonna answer the question, is C-sharp hard to learn? Before we begin, if you're just learning how to code, go to coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. We give you the five essential steps that you need to break in as a software developer. That's coderfoundry.com slash job roadmap. All right, this is one of the biggest questions that new developers have, and they're asking, is C-sharp hard to learn? And I want to talk to you real quickly about why you're asking that question, okay? Let's just dispel it right away. All languages kind of have the same kind of learning curve, whether that's JavaScript, C Sharp, Java, um, Python, PHP, or whatever. They all kind of have the same kind of uh, learning curve because they use all the kind of similar uh, uh, syntax, like if then else, do loops, for loops, switch statements, all those kind of things are very similar between all of these languages. So kind of the learning curve is kind of all the same by learning just the language. The reason you're asking this is because you see the opportunities that are out there for C-sharp developers. You look on Indeed or whatever, and you can say C-sharp developers, and you can see you know, hundreds if not thousands of jobs in your area for C-sharp developers. And you can see where bootcamp staffs, people that graduate from a bootcamp that know C-sharp make more money. And you can look at like $94,000 as the average .NET developer salary across the US. And you're looking at all those things and you're thinking, I would like to get me some of that. And, and I agree with you. I think it's a very good opportunity for us. In fact, we call this the economic mobilizer of our time that coding provides. And C Sharp is the language that allows you to break in much easier than others. And it's pretty simple math. It just means that there are more jobs out there for C Sharp. There's more demand for C Sharp. So if there's more jobs, there's more opportunities for someone to break in. If there's less jobs, the more experienced people will take those. So I think there's a lot of opportunity to learn C Sharp, and what you need to do is, is you're thinking about like, how do I break in? Well, let's talk about why you should learn it. Well, here's another reason that I wanna tell you a quick story. When I was running my consulting company, I've been coding since 92, and I was in the consulting company, and I came up through Power Builder, and then I was into VB, and then I was into VB.net. And so in the first language that came out for .NET framework was VB.net. And I spent a lot of years in VB.net. I knew it backwards and forwards, and I was very profitable in that and very proficient in that. But then, 2002, C Sharp comes out. And then I had, for the first time in my life, I had like a lot of younger developers coming on the staff, and they had grown up in a different environment than I had. And they were like, you know, you didn't really look at this C Sharp thing. And I'm like, I don't know, man, I really know what I'm doing, and I think I'm just gonna stay with what I got. But eventually, I had to come to the conclusion that C Sharp had so much opportunities for the consulting company and my own personal growth, is I just had to jump in with both feet and learn it. And that's what I think that you need to do. You need to jump in with both feet and just commit to learning C Sharp. It's not if it's hard or not, it's what I need to do in order to break in to get a job, because I'm hoping the reason that you're learning C Sharp or the reason you want to undertake programming is to get a job as a sub professional software developer. And C Sharp is in high demand. So it's not, should I learn it or is it hard? It's what can I do to help me break in the easiest? And definitely C Sharp, if you have those skills, you can break in a whole lot easier if you learn and if you just know something like JavaScript. And guess what? Guess what? You're going to have to also learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and C Sharp, and SQL. All of those things turns you into this professional web dev developer. So I don't think it's any harder than anything else. It's pretty easy to learn, but here's the thing that will make you quit. You'll go and look at a tutorial, and you look at this tutorial, and it's from the console, it's not on a website, or it's not this, or it's not that, and it's a little bit confusing, it's a little bit daunting, especially when you're trying to learn it all at once. The other thing that you have that you're thinking is, I must memorize C Sharp to be a coder, and that's not true at all. You need to know what you want to do and not necessarily memorize the entire language, because Here's a little secret. Us professional coders Google a lot. I mean, a lot. You know, so a lot of times we're um, Googling things that you think that we should know that. And sometimes we just forget and we Google it and look at this particular syntax or this particular method or this particular technique. And you can talk to any dev you want to know and say, you know, my real job is to know what I want to do and then Google the information and then put that into the IDE. 
The next thing about C-sharp that I want you to really focus on is the tooling. So the tooling is superior to a lot of other tooling out there. It makes your life so much easier. And I want to harken back to what I was talking about. You're going to need to know JavaScript, HTML, CSS, and C-sharp. The IDE, we call this Visual Studio, your integrated development environment, brings all of that together. Your debugger's in there. And so it has all of these tooling that makes it real easy to build websites and projects. And so that's better than learning another language that's new or hot, or someone says the syntax is beautiful, but you got to go out and you got to get this tool, that tool, that tool, and you got to collect all of this stuff, integrate it together and kind of make it work. Whereas you can really download Visual Studio or VS Code and you're off and running and you have everything that you need to do. So download Visual Studio and here's what I think you do to start your learning process. Grab a tutorial, follow along with the tutorial. Just don't watch, follow along. Now, you can do that for a couple of times, three or four times, but you need to graduate from that to something else. And here's what the something else is. You need to get out a piece of paper and make up a project. After you've watched a few, three or four tutorials, you don't need to spend six months or a year doing this. We're talking about a matter of weeks. Get out a piece of paper and invent a project, something that you want to build. It doesn't matter what it is. It could track your Pop Funko collection, or if you got this really sweet vinyl collection, you want to catalog them. Build that application. Use a tutorial that's similar or has some techniques in it, and then just start building it. Now, once you get to a point and you're like stuck, then you can start Googling and looking for a tutorial that can overcome like, okay, so how do I access the database? Do I use any framework? How does link work? Then you start that learning process and doing that. What I'm telling you to do as a secret is now we have locked you into what I call a framework or a stack. And the stack is all the tools and things necessary for you to build an application. And it focuses your learning. You're no longer saying, what's hard or what's easy or what's most popular. You're, you're focusing on this particular stack to accomplish a specific goal. If you build your own project, you move from memorization into knowledge. A lot of people start by trying to memorize code or memorize everything in the language. I'm going to tell you this, .NET is so broad and so big that you'll never memorize the entire .NET framework and it's changing, it's evolving, it's doing these things. So you'll never memorize that. What you need to know, do is figure out what do I want to build and be able to put that down in pseudocode on paper and then translate that into a piece of software. So if you're tracking your vinyl collection, your Pop Funko collection, you know, that's going to need a database. The database is going to hold the items of my Pop Funko. What do I want to know about it? I want to know price. Maybe I want to know a description, a name or whatever, or my vinyl. Maybe I have a vinyl collection. What's the record? What's the, what's the art on the cover? What are the tracks on side the record? What's on the B side? What's on the A side? All those kind of things that you want to know about it. You want to put that in your database. All right. And so you, you figure out what your problem is and then you watch a tutorial about databases. You watch a tutorial about front end with bootstrap and ASP.NET. You watch a, a, a tutorial about MVC with controllers and things like that. And you put it all together and you end up with a project. Your first project may take you months to build. It may take you a year. I don't know. It depends on how complex it is. But then what I would say is once you build it once, start over. Rebuild it again or come up with a new project and you'll eventually get faster and faster and faster and faster and better, and better at this. And then you take these kind of business projects and you put them on a tutorial on your portfolio and then you have your own unique work that you can show someone and that's really what we're asking is, can I learn C-sharp and will it get me a job? If you build a portfolio and you build business projects that have databases that solve problems, the answer is absolutely 100% yes, you'll get a job if you can do those things. So is C-sharp hard to learn? Yeah, every language is kind of hard to learn, but it takes practice, commitment to your craft. And if you follow through with that, you're not going to learn a week or three days or four days. It's going to take a little bit of time and effort. But if you build your own projects, you'll be there quicker than you think, and you'll learn more than you probably thought you would set out to by just watching tutorials alone. I hope this helps. Good luck and keep coding.